Hey, what's up, Final Community? Welcome back. Subtunes, I'm Mike. Uh, this is a different video. This is um, a video um, suggested by Logan at Murmur Than Hell. Check out his channel. I will put a link in the description. Uh, he's a really nice guy. We've actually met a couple of times. We did a uh, Chicago record crawl once. And a, uh, I met him at the Gary Newman concert uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, terrific guy, night, great record collector, lives in the uh, suburbs of Chicago. So I don't get to see him all that much, but um, would love to. Uh, he put a video out called, I forget what he called it. Uh, he, he was kind of giving back to the vinyl community. And he, he listed 20 channels in the vinyl community that he watches and suggested a video that they make. Um, I thought I thought it was a great idea. Um, better than like these silly contests that people do. Uh, I've done contests and I've entered contests, so I'm not poo poo in contests, but they are kind of silly, let's be honest. And they don't help your channel all that much, maybe a little bit. Uh, but uh, this was a great idea, I, and I reached out to Logan and thanked him. And uh, he, I was one of the channels that he picked. And he wanted me to make a video ranking my favorite songs from these box sets. The Grateful Dead box sets, 1969, uh, Fillmore West. These have been record store releases. There's four of them. I only pulled two. Or No, I pulled three. <laughs> what am I talking about? I, I pulled three because everything I want to talk about is on these three. Uh, Fillmore, Fillmore West, uh, this, these were recorded in, uh, what month? Uh, February, February and early March of 1969. These shows, they were, are legendary in Grateful Dead lore. They, um, they, first of all, they were recorded absolutely beautifully. I mean, they did a terrific job. The original tapes of these are incredible. And then they fix them up and make them sound even better. The Grateful Dead do wonderful record store day releases, uh, for the most part. There were a couple, a couple of slugs in between, but like this run of stuff is unbelievable. Um, they are four record sets each one, and um, they sound great. The packaging is absolutely beautiful, and um, I've collected them all. Um, I started getting them and. Um, so I don't know. I, I I get one every every uh, every record store day. A couple of them are limited. I think they're limited to nine thousand. So um, yeah, they're you know they're they're not super rare. I see them in stores a lot. Um, you can still pick them up. There's plenty out there. So uh, if you like them, if you like that early Grateful Dead with Pigpen. You know more when they were a kind of a bluesy rock band. They still jammed. I mean they they were a psychedelic blues band is what they kind of were at the beginning. Uh, this is um, this is all pre. This would be pre American Beauty. So we're talking pretty early Grateful Dead. Um, so what he wanted me to do? He wanted me to rank my favorite songs from this. I'm just gonna do ten. <laughs> I'm doing ten, Logan, because there's a lot of songs on these four records. Um, from Fillmore West, 1969, February 28th. This is a. These are all great. I'm, so I'm not. I'm, I'm going to stop saying these. These are great. This is because these are all absolutely wonderful. Um, so <laughs> this this one has two of my favorite Grateful Dead songs, early Grateful Dead songs, and that is "Death Don't Have No Mercy." It's a cover, I believe. Into Alligator. Alligator was an older song. They didn't play it a lot. It, you know, after um, after like 1970, I don't believe they played it too much. Uh, I love Death Don't Have No Mercy. Um, Pig Pen is on vocals. Um, they would do it later in their careers, and I believe Brent Brent Midland, uh, when he was on keyboards, I believe he had the vocals on there. Him and Cherry, I believe. So um, those are that. That is ten and nine from this this one. This one has three of my favorite. Uh, this is this is great. This is uh, March first, nineteen sixty nine. Uh, side three. <laughs> I love these songs. Uh, Cosmic Charlie, Dupree's Diamond Blues, and Mountains of the Moon. 
three of my favorite early Grateful Dead songs. Mountains of the Moon is a wonderful song. Uh, Tom Constantin, I don't know if Tom Constantin is actually playing keyboards on these. He might be. Um, yeah, he was only in the band for a really short time. He was a wonderful piano player. No, I don't think he's on here. I think he came right after Big Ben passed away. Um, Tom Constantin was a terrific, classically trained piano player. And I, I have a solo record of his, and he does a solo version of Mountains of the Moon, which is just stunning. The, his piano playing is beautiful. And ever since I heard that, it's, I, I don't know when it came out, maybe early early 80s. He's long gone. Um, yeah, Mountains of the Moon. Dupree's Diamond Blues. I love that song. Uh, was that Oxamoxia that's on? A uh, 10, 11 minute version and then Cosmic Charlie. The, the Just the rock and the shuffle. I just love that shuffle. Um, yeah, really, really good. Um, so that's, uh, so that's, I didn't write these down. So that's, that's eight, nine, no, that's eight, seven, six. Well, Five and four also come from this record. This one's really good, apparently. <laughs> uh, Turn On Your Love Light. What a wonderful song. They just jammed it out. It, 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 this one goes 22 minutes. You know, you get, you get a lot of audience participation. You get that jammy, just that jammy blues. It's just a great song. And they go right into Hey Jude, the Beatles cover at eight minutes long. Uh, a really, really, really good segue into the Hey Jude. They would play Hey Jude a little bit during the early years, and then they would bust it out again in the early 90s. Um, again, I believe with Brent Midland on uh, vocals. Uh, they didn't play it too many times, but they would play it every once in a while. So this one has a bunch of stuff on there that I love. And I've lost track. What number were we on? Were we on four? Uh, I think we're on three. Uh, yeah, we're on three. So this one, this is, uh, March 2nd, 1969. And I'm ending this video <laughs> with the unbelievable combination of that's it for the other one, cryptical envelopment, the other one back into cryptical envelopment, your typical Two hour song, two hour long Grateful Dead jam. This is exactly why people don't like the Grateful Dead. <laughs> Some people don't like the Grateful Dead, is this side of this record. This is one, well, it's three, four songs. It's actually two songs that go for 23 minutes. Um, the interplay in between the songs is unreal. Um, again, I love Pigpen. I just, he brings so much flavor to early Grateful Dead. You know, Bobby hadn't really, he hadn't really like, yeah, he stepped forward yet. Um, he would, you know, in the in the years to come. But uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful record. Um, I could have also done St. Stephen into the 11. That would have been nice. It, it, the Dark Star that opens this, I didn't even talk about. But um, yeah, those are right. That was my quick overview of 10 songs from that collection that I absolutely love. Uh, Logan, this was a pretty cool idea. I, I got to see what other people are doing. I haven't, you should put together a playlist of um, what other people are uh, posting videos about. That would be really cool because I'd like to see what other people have done. But that's mine. Thanks again, Logan. Great guy. Check out his channel, Logan at Murmur Than Hell. I will put a link in the uh, description. That's it. Get out and vote.